now driven down into the valley and I've come across this site uh, the helicopter has landed in a field next to, I'm not sure if that's a farm or farmhouse or what but these guys in the white suits here with no markings on their vehicles which is really weird have this equipment here obviously some sort of spray I'm trying to get in closer so you can see. I'm sorry for my hand shaking a bit, but I can't I find somewhere to rest this camera. There we go. That's a bit better. And they obviously have a windsock so they can show where this helicopter is taking off. Right? And again, there's no markings, no company markings whatsoever on the helicopter that I can see. Well, I thought the markings were the engine vents. And no flight markings at all on this helicopter. And these guys. I want to make famous. Because I don't know who you are. It's states there you can see the yeah the danger hazard sign there right, then they're wearing no protective outfits whatsoever there's no company logo to identify who they are on either of the vehicles this one here or this one here that I can see. Well, it's basically above that post. You can see there's nothing on the door there whatsoever. And they're spraying some sort of substance on a national park without any reason to the pub, you know, public, or or any rhyme at all whatsoever. You know, it's um, it's baffling to say the least. Uh, what is the reason for this? Why are you spraying poisons onto a national park? There you go. I mean, we've got Japanese, what's it, not wheel something up there? I doubt that very much because it's a water based um, infestation. But these guys, I might be local, there might be perfectly good reasons, you know, behind it. But the way they're going about it, they're dealing with hazardous chemicals, obviously, there you can see the hazard sign. Right, they're, they're doing it wearing no protective equipment, no gloves, I uh, can't see any boots on, you know, the long proper Wellington boots, can you see them? I'm not sure. Um, there's no respirators, I can't see any um, medical facilities should something go wrong. And they're just kind of plonked in the middle of a field and spraying Dartmoor National Park. And I have absolutely no reason why. And like I said uh, in the previous part one, the previous video I should say, that uh, the, the, the spray that they're spraying, whatever it is, is, is toxic for sure. Because that's, well, unless that symbol on the tank there is lying... And I believe he's topping up that other tank, which is like, you can kind of see what's going on because it, it, it actually um, feeds to the helicopter. There's a, there must be a motor inside the, that green unit there that pumps it towards the helicopter's tanks. And then the helicopter takes off and starts spraying. Uh, how long this is going on for, I don't know, but I'm assuming, I know, you know, it's got clear... It's got, it's, He's exposing himself there to chemicals, right? He's now going to fit that to the tank to fill up so he can, they can go and spray, put that into there, and then go and spray again. But the, if he's handling hazardous matter, you know, pesticides, herbicides, whatever, well, pesticides are the ones, but like, you know, then what, why he, is either of them there not wearing any protective equipment? They've got high vis stuff on. Which is quite funny because in the middle of the field, I mean, are they warning the cows of them being nearby? There's a hazard here. That's quite. Funny. 
there's <laughs> not there's any cows in the field at the minute but there's no reason for them spraying here uh, I think that if I on further inspection there you go identification marks of the helicopter or as best as I can see them so can somebody with more aeronautical experience uh, and knowledge than myself please let me know what these Muppets are up to or what, what, you know, where this helicopter actually comes from what firm it is because they're obviously working from private land here um, but they're spraying a national park go figure and they obviously didn't bank on anybody having a video camera and being famous so there you have uh, BOD 1 and BOD 2 BOD 3 I'm assuming is a pilot actually again I can only apologise for the poor camera work at the minute Bot 3 is looking for something in his in the Land Rovers maybe a mobile phone to take my picture, who knows so who said that it's all quiet in the country when you have this lot going on your back doorstep the spraying of the countryside with toxic matter be it a pesticide I mean I really don't know I really really don't know I've never seen the like before and I hope I'm not going to see the like again yeah, suggestions on a postcard please for this one oh, no, I'm thinking right 